Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta. And today I wanted to talk about this feature which has been around for a little while but wanted to kind of do a little bit of a high-end dive into it. It is basically where you can go in and get your bank statements directly from your bank when you reconcile in QuickBooks Online. It's available for QuickBooks Online Plus Advanced Accounted and QuickBooks Live users. Basically what we're talking about here is that some banks and credit cards will now let you view your bank statements right from QuickBooks. And most of the banks, most of the larger banks I should say, are part of this. There are a few that are not. I'm going to throw a link in here in just a little bit so that way you can see where you can go to read more about this and perhaps to find all those banking credit card institutions that are a part of this. But basically you start off by making sure that your accounts are connected because it only works with connected banking credit card accounts in the bank center. And so once you connect those bank in credit cards in your bank center then you go over here to the accounting menu and click on reconcile which is what we've already done here now since i've already reconciled the statement for 113 2022 i'm not going to see anything in the unreconciled screen but basically all you have to do is you click on where it says view statements and that allows you to open up a window and it will import any statements that have not been imported yet. Like I said, I've already reconciled the January 13th, 2022 statements. So I click on the Reconcile tab and that shows you all the statements here that have currently been downloaded from the bank. And what's so neat about this is if I click on this most recent statement right here, you can see it pops up into another window where I can actually go in here and say, if I needed to reconcile this, I can have this up and I can actually go in here and tile this. So that way I can like maybe put this snap right and kind of size these out so that I can do the reconcile uh, pretty seamlessly if, if I want to do that. So now that I've reconciled this, I can go into history by account and I can look at this and show you where all these statements have been attached. Now, if you have a bank account or a credit card account for some reason, if, if you don't have it connected to your bank feeds or if it's one of those banks or credit card institutions that do not provide you with this feature, then you can go ahead and upload those manually. You just click on where it says either attachments or attach. It'll say attach if you don't have it, have it attached. Then it'll open to another window here. And you can drag and drop the files here or you can browse to upload those. So you can still attach those even though they're not being fed through QuickBooks online. So basically, that was all I wanted to show you today. I hope this helps you out. Y'all take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, and we will see you soon. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks Desktop or Online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks Desktop or Online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.